Hi YouTube, Coin Picker here. Here are some thrift store finds that I did not buy over the months. Anyways, here's a um, paperweight marked, but I have too many paperweights, so I left it. And next we have some art glass, and it was signed. There was a pair of these polar bears, pretty cool but I couldn't figure out the signature, so left those behind. Here's some um, Czechoslovakian glass, flash glass they call it, I guess because of the red color and it's sort of cut back to the clear. And here's some figurines from my youth uh, based on a comic book, Grendel, pretty cool. And here's a gigantic transformer $3.99, it was a deal, but uh, I don't know, it's not that old, so I left it behind. And then what's with these dead dragonflies in these cases? $1.99 each. Weird. And here's a Ashanti uh, Ghana cast brass little figurine, pretty cool. But $4.99, I would have picked it up if it was like a couple bucks, but I already have a quite a few. And here's some shell art. Here's a peacock made of lots of little shells. And they had another one making it look like a bunch of flowers. I don't know who buys this stuff. 50 bucks each. It's probably from the 70s, I think. And there's the um, butterflies in the um, frame as well. This is cool, a uh, bunch of little gemstones made into a tree. Wasn't too expensive, but didn't feel like it, $3.99. And then here's a nice expensive uh, Canada Goose down jacket, but my friend said it most likely was uh, reproduction, or fake. And this looks like a badger pelt, but correct me if I'm wrong, it was different. 70 bucks and then here's a letter blotter you know if you back in the day when you wrote wrote letters with real ink and a quill pen i would have picked it up 12.99 it's probably about 100 years old but see there's that damage at the back of the porcelain so that's why i left it behind at the value village uh here is popsicle stick art it's supposed to be a vase, but it looks more like a spittoon, sort of gross. And then here's this religious wall hanging. I believe that's Martin Luther. It has some age to it. And there's a little note taped to the back. Uh, I think it was written back in 1965, according to that paper. And this is a cute little, I guess it's a bud vase probably from the 60s, maybe 50s, not too PC though. Uh, and then there is this Chanel bag at the Value Village. Pretty expensive, check out that price, that's crazy. And it's not for sure if it's legitimate, right? And then here's this vase, little ball vase that separates into two. I don't know if it's a vase or maybe you put candles in it for $1.99. And here is a glass dome. Pretty good price. Um, it's for a clock, one of those German clocks. Uh, some Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle stuff. Shooter glasses. Two bucks. Maybe I should have bought it. But it wasn't too old. And then this humongous toy, Spider-Man toy. $14.99, I should have picked it up brand new in the box uh probably could have flipped it for 50 bucks and this is a pretty cool little vintage or antique looking container brass container and here is this satsuma tea teapot 5.99 at least 100 years old i would have bought it however there was a chip on the inside of the um the lid so you always look for damage. I, I don't like to pick up damage stuff unless it's like super rare or super cheap. 
and this reminds me of like totally 1960s looks from the outside looks like just a regular globe but it has that uh, Mad Men TV show flair to it because look what happens you pop it open and you can make yourself a martini or whatever drink back in the day pretty cool and then there is this huge transformer toy 14.99 uh, I think there was something wrong with it. I tried to like play with it. Anyways, uh, this is a old hundred year old British uh, biscuit uh, container or cookie jar. Pretty cool. Uh, some more of that Czechoslovakian flash glass. This little shooter cup, three ninety nine. A uh, little rich for my blood. Uh, here's a antique or vintage Chinese brass tray with a dragon motif, probably from the. 30s, I think. Uh, some nice porcelain, um, Brit English porcelain, and it is, uh, yeah, from Royal Dalton. Uh, Egyptian motif from the 1920s, seven bucks. Pretty good price. And this is interesting. It has the Canadian Mountie, this teacup, $7.99, and it is made in occupied Japan. And they spelled occupied wrong, I believe. And here's another one right next to it. Pretty interesting. Also spelled incorrectly. Uh, here's some gigantic model kits. Huge, huge. As big as a person. Regular $49.95. Now only $39.99. No wonder that place went out of business. Whoever donated it. Regular $499.95. And... It's $199. And here's some vintage Tupperware. This was very tempting to get. $199 each. And it did come with lids. Here's another look at it. Um, went back the next day. It was gone. And here is a bangle. I believe it is elephant ivory, which is very tough to sell. $69.99. Illegal, actually. Surprised they had it in the case. Uh, here is a antique cast iron elephant, little figurine, two fifty, good deal. Uh, here's some cigarette silks. They were like when you bought a pack of cigarettes back in the day in England, they give you these freebie things to collect. Uh, here is a um, blanket uh, made up of little pieces. I forgot what the name of it. Um, a quilt and it looks like it has an Asian motif this is the back side of it pretty cool though a lot of work put into it and here is a bag of Lego actually it is a Lego set partially built $29.99 there was two bags huge bags worth and I think it was a bargain but uh, there might be some missing pieces it was like these building like house or building set uh, here's a picture of it complete that I found online. So left that behind. And here is a yardstick, an antique one. And I think they used to give this away from at a paint store. And you could tell the age. This is the name of, I think, the paint store. Uh, because the phone number, this is local to us in uh, Vancouver. The phone number is only four numbers. And we're on 10-digit dialing now, so definitely old. Uh, here is a piece of art, I guess art metal, um, from Finland, $199. If, it had a, if I had a pair, I would have bought it, but it just won by itself. I didn't want to fool around with it. Here is a model of, of a ship, pretty cool, $149.99 as is. Uh, here is a uh, tea caddy. Uh, usually they had it in, in the tea stores in Chinatown uh, to display their wares. And I believe it's pewter or lead. Pretty cool. Pretty big. It's like an armful. And here is a um, teapot probably from the 1960s, 1970s maybe. Uh, from China, three ninety nine, pretty cheap. 
but I don't collect that modern stuff. See, made in China. Uh, pretty cool little knife, uh, folding knife keychain, two ninety nine. That's a deal. Uh, yeah, this is an interesting item. Um, in original box, it's a jump rope that counts for you or keeps track. Weird. Uh, these looked antique, but actually it said made in Taiwan on the back. These Chinese pictures. You put one on the left and one on the right. And there was a whole bunch of new old stock. Uh, well, I guess not that old. These Star Wars figurines. I wish they were from the 70s. I would have bought them all. And here is a hot water pig. Sort of like uh, the predecessor of the hot water bottle that you put in your bed to keep your feet warm from England. Probably 100 years old. You know, it's made of porcelain or I guess, yeah, clay, porcelain, whatever, you know, pottery. Uh, Hulk smash. So this is like uh, based on the Incredible Hulk, this mug. I'm not sure if it's, it was licensed. Um, this was funny. I thought it was really funny. Teach your, or train your cat to use the toilet. Okay. People actually bought that stuff. Uh, here is a Lego robotics thing. Uh, what's that? Mindstorms, it's called. My son had one brand new I bought from years, you know, when he was a little kid. I uh, asked him if he was interested in this. He said, nah, leave it. There could have been missing parts, so I left it behind. Uh, yeah, this is from KitchenAid. Guess what it is? It's actually for you to make homemade pasta, and it, it's like a drying rack for your pasta. You would never th imagine, right? And here's some wooden elephant carving. Pretty cool. Uh, this is like an artist's model for dog. Weird. Uh, brass object. Uh, reminds me of Bambi and, it, and his mom. And this was cheap, $1.99. It's a water sealed, um, I guess it's an iPod or, yeah, iPod. Really old, Didn't, don't know if it works or not, but for two bucks, that would have been a deal for someone. And here's this brass covered wooden uh, box, I guess for logs, probably made in England, huge. And then the, here is this cool Fendi uh, mirror. I think it was for uh, Fendi brand eyeglasses. You know, when you buy sunglasses or glasses, glass frames from the store. Um, here is a little remote controlled robot, probably from the 80s, I'd imagine. Pretty cool. And when I was a kid, we used to have these pencil boxes so we put our pens and pencils and crayon pencil crayons to bring to school 399 uh when yeah and i also remember these these were uh, spare batteries for your flip phones to see that motorola fl flip phone we used to carry like three or four spare batteries and here's a modern day iphone i think it was locked so you couldn't use it anyways i used my iphone to take a picture of that iphone and it was, I don't know, how old was it? $39.99, $39 crazy price for a phone that you probably can't use. Here is a vintage uh, flip uh, calculator slash alarm. That was pretty cool. Maybe I should have picked that up. Casio, made in Japan. Probably worth about $25 to someone online. Throw it on eBay. Probably still worked. And then there is these banks of lockers, like gym, gym lockers. $129.99, pretty cool. I mean, some sports fan would want to have this in their man cave. But they were heavy and gigantic. And here is an Israeli dog tag. Pretty cool design. You'd snap it in half, I guess. It's like, you know, if something happened. Uh, here is a anniversary clock made in Germany. I think it is probably worth about 30 some odd dollars, give or take. 
And here's an interesting little souvenir from the uh, 2010 Olympics in Vancouver. A piece of the podium. Seriously? I mean, $2.99, it's an oddball item. And here is some Jasper Ware from Wedge Wedgwood. I only noticed this now. Maybe I should have picked it up. Look at the back. If you look carefully, $1.99. Right, the price tag is right, but look at the stamping on the back. It's reversed. I only realized that now when I was filming this video. Oh, darn. I should have kept it. Uh, here is an interesting little souvenir from a famous hotel from 1982. 75th anniversary. From the plaza in New York. Uh, I think I could have flipped it, I guess, on eBay for some good money. Here is a nice silver overlay uh, glass vase. All that would have cleaned up with, you know, bright silvery color uh, on the glass. $4.99, a little expensive for my taste. I would have picked it up if it was two bucks. And this cool item I actually missed by mere minutes. I was at the uh, Salvation Army thrift store near my house, left, and then two minutes later, my friend um, calls me and says, hey, you missed this item. And it is a Christmas ornament from Tiffany. And he paid, it, paid 99 cents for it. What a bargain. Oh, well, I should have checked the Christmas aisle. And this is an interesting item, something could, that you could flip, but I did not want to do, you know, spend the effort. A little dollhouse kit. And this is an interesting little mushroom glass thingamajig. Uh, probably a paperweight, $1.99. It is marked, this art glass uh, Wedgwood, but I don't think it's the same Wedgwood that, you know, from earlier. Two bucks would have been cheap. Hmm. And here, this rug actually yeah they priced it super expensive at the value village it's very similar to the one i bought for like five bucks years ago which i made an awesome flip i think i got 400 for that uh, here is another jasper ware styled pitcher i don't think it's wedgwood uh, it's not i don't think i don't believe it was marked but it was interesting and here is a pachinko machine, a Japanese gaming machine, $49.99, probably doesn't work. Basically, it's like pinball and a slot machine combined in a way. All these balls come down and you collect the balls as if they were coins and cash out that way. Neat though. And here, $4.99, I was on the fence about this item. Uh, it's like pressed to glass. I couldn't find a, a name on it. If it was Lalique, I would definitely have bought it, left it behind. Uh, here is some porcelain, very interesting, German porcelain, but the, the stamp on the back is very interesting. I've seen a lot of Occupy Japan, but I've never, first time I've ever seen, for $9.99, oh, $9 first time I've ever seen Occupy Germany. So the U.S. zone. Maybe I should have bought it. Oh, 10 bucks, a little pricey. Uh, here is some Limoges porcelain, this tiny little, tiny little vase. Probably from the 70s, maybe 60s. Could be off a decade or two. It's marked Limoges, France. 99 cents, that was cheap. But I didn't like it enough to buy it. I thought I'd leave it behind for the, someone who really likes it. Uh, here is an antique pewter stein or mug, 3.99. Actually, that was pretty cheap. I was on the fence about this, but I didn't want to pick up every antique I see. Um, glass bottom, pretty neat. And here is a Jap antique Japanese uh, transfer, I believe it's transfer wear, at least 100 years old, $14.99. Uh, this is a Harley Davidson flashlight by Raynar, I think, or one of these big flashlight names. Uh, here is an interesting little item. Also, what we were talking about, Occupied Japan. I believe it does have that mark. Let's see. Yes, 
99 cents for Occupy Japan, that is pretty cheap. Probably worth like seven, eight bucks. Uh, this is probably some sort of scientific glassware for chemistry. And 9.99, this toy set, new in the box, pretty cheap. Could have flipped it maybe for 50, 60 bucks if I took the time. But you know what, I, I really didn't want to deal with that stuff. So I left it behind. And here is, for $3.99 from the Value Village store is a British toaster, toast holder. I thought it was cool, but I would have gotten it if it was sterling, but it's only silver plate. Here, a bag full of, uh, uh, what do you call it, uh, Lego minifigures, $2.99, cheap. There was like seven or eight of them in there. That would have been a good flippable item. Uh, here's this Japanese um, pot metal dragon motif little tray, metal tray. It was really cheap. I think it was only a couple bucks, but the corners were broken off. So damaged items, I left it behind. Uh, here's an interesting uh, thing. M&M labels all mounted. It was like um, based on like the Star Wars series. And each label is actually a different, uh, they're all different, like different character and whatnot. Pretty neat, but it wasn't cheap. And here is some sort of university uh, fraternity paddle, or uh, I think they call it an oath paddle or something like that. Gamma Pi from the University of Washington. That was pretty cool. And here is this porcelain figurine. Pretty neat, but it was not marked. Wasn't expensive or anything. Actually, it was pretty cheap, but uh, didn't want to fool around with things that are not marked. Tried to research it. Uh, this is pretty cool. Um, coins in plastic, $3.99. It'd been better if it was a silver dollar in it, but I left it behind. Uh, this uh, KFC water cooler thing. And it was a name brand, I forgot the name, but uh, could have flipped it. Uh, here are some cool trophies, BMW, BMX trophies from the 80s. Some people collect these. And here is an old iBook, iBook? It's like an iMac, I guess. $129.99, uh, pricey, and I don't think it even booted up. 2001 it's vintage and here is a Canucks and uh, NHL um, team I guess charity trophy like it's crystal and it's some sort of yearly charity uh, event in Vancouver and there you have it these are all my almost finds Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Coin Picker out.